All right, so I wanted to um, give just a quick rundown of the Hasbro Micro Machines transforming head, um, Kylo Ren. So this is a prototype. Um, this never actually went to market, but there was a box that was created as well as a figure and a ship that went with it. Um, for whatever, whatever reason, they didn't end up bringing it to market, but uh, fortunately, um, there was somebody that was able to grab a couple of them and was able to get um, one from them. So this came with, um, just like the other versions of the Micro Machines Hasbro release, it comes with one ship and a figure. So the figure is the only one that's actually uh, with this one. So the ship is just a regular first order TIE fighter. Um, now... The figure here, uh, again, this is a prototype figure of Ray holding a blaster. This is actually uh, pretty good in terms of the quality of detail for the figure. The other figures that were released just in the mass-produced uh, First Order Stormtrooper head and the R2-D2 uh, really have a lot to be desired in terms of the figure and the quality of it. Now, with the TIE Fighter... Um, the First Order TIE Fighter has just some burn marks on the side of it. Um, again, it's kind of like Ray is shooting the TIE Fighter. Um, that's at least what the box shows. But this is just a regular Micro Machines TIE Fighter. It fits in the playset uh, just normal. So let's go ahead and walk through um, the outside of this. So lots of great detail. You know, when I first was looking at this, I was thinking, man, it's got a lot of scuffs and stuff on it, but it actually isn't scuffs. It's just the way it's designed. So there's some damage on here, obviously around the eyes, just like uh, Kylo Ren has. There's some great detail in the um, cloth work down here. This is all a hard plastic, but it looks really nice and detailed. Um, and then here is the side of it. So relatively thin um, front to back. And then there is a little push button there on the top to open it, which we'll do in a second. And then here is the back. So uh, a couple different things that you can do back here with uh, what we'll see in a second. Um, and here is the bottom. So now let's go ahead and open this up. So to open it, just push the button on the top. It goes ahead and releases the um, little hook there, and then it opens. Now the back wall here will open as well, um, but before we get into that, uh, we'll just look at kind of the details on the inside. Really cool that they did this rock um, feature here on the inside of it. It gives a little more depth to it. And then on the bottom, here you can see this is like, a, I don't know, it looks more like a scene from the Clone Wars where they're uh, practicing, but um, uh, anyways, lots of details down in there. So uh, at the top here, there is actually a, a door here that opens, so you can open and close that, and then this whole platform ends up going out. So. You know, again, you could do like a battle in the background and then this gun back here will actually twist. You can see that? And I believe that there is, uh, there were stickers that were supposed to come with this as well. And I would imagine a sticker would go on that door. And then over here on the right side, you have a little elevator, which um, there is a little slider here in the back. You can kind of see there through the... Um, through the middle of it and it um, it does lock up into place there at the top and then on the inside here there is a, a little trap door that opens to be able to go out the back so you can see there you can kind of slide down that way um, and this definitely has a sticker on it you can see it on some of the production pictures of the box uh, some type of a red um, graphic don't really know but then you've got the detail of the floors here, and then um, down here on the bottom, this little hatch opens. So you can put something in there. And then um, this is really the one of the other moving features. 
Um, just like on all the other play sets, it's got this little arm here where you can put the TIE Fighter on so you can pull this out. You can actually see inside there, it's got the little ball that kind of locks it in place. And then you actually can move this to flip it up over and then also spin it around. So um, again, with this TIE Fighter, it does fit on here perfectly fine. So you can go ahead and just put this guy on there. Oops. And then you would be able to fly it around. A second. Did this earlier and that was a lot easier. It just went right on, but there we go. Pulling that all the way out. So now I can fly around in a circle. And again, it shows in the pictures that Ray is shooting it, so. Ray would be standing up here, and then you'd be able to flip the TIE Fighter over like that. And that's basically it. Um, there's not a whole lot else to this uh, playset. So kind of similar to the other Hasbro releases, the ones that they did actually release, there's very few features to it. Um, you know, at least this scene here has a little more to be desired in terms of like what is actually in it and the details of it. The other scenes are just some barren landscapes and to be perfectly honest they're just not very good so um either way that's your um prototype kylo ren head uh, everything does fit inside of the head which is nice um, just like all of the other ones that have been made so uh, if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below